In this paper, we describe an experiment suitable for undergraduate students to measure a double-slit interference pattern using a partially coherent light source. An expanded helium-neon laser incident on a rotating white card produces a uniform intensity spot, the size of which is controlled using a variable width slit. The scattered light then passes through a double-slit aperture and the far field intensity distribution is collected by scanning a fiber coupler that is connected to a single photon counting module. When the source size is very small, the interference fringes have a high visibility. As expected, when the source size increases, the visibility is observed to decrease. As the size of the source increases further, the visibility passes through a minimum and then increases. At this point, the interference pattern has undergone a 180 degree phase shift so that the central fringe is now a local minimum instead of a maximum. While our results are in good qualitative agreement with the standard theoretical predictions, we see a quantitative discrepancy that becomes quite pronounced for low visibilities. Performing a first principles calculation for the intensity distribution leads to a theoretical prediction that is in much better agreement with the experimental data.